What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jedi Chainsaw and this is Super Mario Odyssey. This is Cascade Kingdom All Moon Locations. I'm going to skip over the ones that you have to progress through the game. Uh, these first three or four, I forget how many there are exactly. Um, where you get the multi-moons and all that. This is the first moon that you get, moon three. Basically just grab this stupid chomp thing, go grab this moon, and you 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 win the game. Roll, moon number five is uh, pretty simple. Next to the Odyssey, just go jump on the rock. And number six, you just jump in the river and uh, go underneath this little cavern thing, open the chest, bada bing, bada boom. Moon number seven, uh, all you need to do is take the, the chomp thing, bust open this rock, go up the, uh, the tunnel, and the moon should be up on this little cliff here. Moon number eight is uh, pretty, it's on top where you fought the the boss and uh, just go across these little aisles. Moon number nine is the first timer challenge. Pretty difficult one here. You gotta jump across these green platforms. Very, very degree of difficulty 90,000. Just kidding, it's super easy. Next one's a little bit t tougher if you're maybe three years old. It's basically just need to do the triple jump and you get it no problem. Moon number 11 is uh, you're gonna see Mr. Toadface. Uh, he's on the, where you fight the boss again just drop down to this cliff he gives you a, a little moon out of his pants I think he keeps it in his where his wiener is Rule, uh, moon 12 and 13 is a, a double uh, in this little red door uh, where you grab the t-rex and you kill these little Sonic the Hedgehog looking furry things um, you just go around and wreck it it's kind of a fun uh, thing I actually enjoyed this a lot even though I uh, I kill every single one of them except one um, that's my luck with every video game and then uh, but uh, I figured it out I was like what the f that was a nice jump though there he is a little yellow bastard knock him out once that's completed then uh, that obviously pops up the moon there but then uh, you go I don't know if this works but you want you have a timer with the t-rex if you jump out and hit him again I think you get more time I'm not 100% on that grab the moon here and then you go back and search for the other part of the the other part of the moon is down on this. I think I just passed it actually because I'm stupid. But I think it's down the ledge um, right here. Just drop down. And for whatever reason, they, they couldn't they couldn't possibly put the moon right where you are. They had to throw it up on there and you have to use the T-Rex. The next one is also a two-parter. It's uh, behind where you fought the, the main boss. It's a drop down here. Um, and you grab these chomps and you have to hit the other chomp into the target um, due to because of my magical video editing skills it makes it look like I'm a pro with a lot of these uh, the first three are very simple though the last one is kind of hard um, but they're pretty I mean, you just gotta keep try on air and uh, you'll, you'll figure it out it's not too 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 bad the the secret the hidden moon in this one kinda drove me crazy for a while I couldn't find it I don't know why um, but it is right after you beat, after you get this moon here, it's in the next room. And look at this, first try, I'm going to knock this out. Swear, never, only took me once. I swear it didn't take me seven times to do that, just once. Now, another two-parter, this one is uh, down at the bottom next to the waterfall. Uh, you just need the little chasm thing. Um, kill these ridiculously annoying yellow toads, or whatever they're called, mushroom goombas. I really enjoy the 8-bit part of this game. I think it's one of the coolest aspects of this game is the whole 8-bit thing. Um, I don't understand why th this is here though. This, I guess, so you can get eight coins. I thought there would be more there, but apparently not. I kind of look back like that's it. I could have sworn there would be a, a a moon there, but apparently not. So you go through here, go across the chasms. If you want to go get some purple coins, it's above you. If you just jump across the chasm, go on the top, uh, you'll be fine. Grab this moon, then you're, you're, you'll need to turn around and then go grab the other moon, which is not very difficult at all. Go across the, um, whatever these things are called, elevators, I guess. 
Go down this tunnel, come out of the tunnel, and then drop down the ledge very carefully. Go into this thing and do a little Koopa, hit the square, or the, the brick blocks, and uh, you'll find the other moon. Yippee! Okay, so this is where this map gets kind of dumb. So this 18 one is kind of tricky. Um, I figured this out just by screwing around in the Snow Kingdom, but you had to travel to the Snow Kingdom to get this one. But in the very beginning, there's this snowman, fluffy marshmallow guy that you have to hijack um, and take him over to this, where this wooden block is, blow this wooden block over. There's a painting a la Mario 64. Go grab this, you go up on the floating island, and you grab your moon. The next one is also stupid, Tourist in Cascade Kingdom, where you meet this highly offensive slightly racist character uh, with maracas uh, you go to the sand kingdom he talks to you now he tells you he has to go to the metro kingdom donk city uh jumping on the car is optional <laughs> you talk to the mexican uh, moroccan dude again and he uh, gives you a moon for that one and then he also uh, tells you he goes back to cascade kingdom where he grabs you on the moon that you actually need for cascade kingdom this one is a uh, rolling rock by the falls there you grab this moon rock where the old odyssey was Kick it around a few times. Um, if there's a better way to doing this, I, I would like to know. I don't know if I'm doing it. I'm sure there is. If you know a better way, tell me. Rune number 21, and you got to talk to Miss Independence uh, Peach, who had to take a hiatus from you and run around the country with her ghost. And she'll give you one of those things. Uh, this is your first. This next one is the the first race with the, the Koopa. Cool, cool, cool Koopa. That's hard to say. Cool Koopa Kid. And it's very one of the easier races. They do get harder, I will say that. Well, especially the, um, the, I don't know what you call them, the special moons, I guess. They do get kind of difficult. Um, I wouldn't say difficult, annoying. But this one is very simple. The next one is uh, my little tip for this. Um, before you do any of these, so searching for moons and stuff, I usually try to get as many coins as I can, at least buy the, the secret outfit for that thing, because there's always going to be a guy wanting you to dress up like a weirdo and do things. The next one, you just need to go to the shop, talk to the weirdos in the hats, and they give you a, a, a moon. The next one, you grab the binoculars where the Odyssey is, go look up in the sky. There should be a sphinx um, or a temple or a pyramid type thing up there in the sky that looks different from the rest of the sailing, whatever the hell it is, drops a moon. Uh, the next one is uh, number 26. You just go kind of towards where the beginning is. Underneath the bridge, ground pound, grab a moon. Next one is... I don't remember this one. Oh, yeah. You can see my excellent skills of uh, platforming here where I almost die like 300 times. Well, you just uh, use your cap, hit the, make the clouds appear, and uh, you'll go grab your moon, and you'll be the coolest kid in school. Next one is Treasure Under the Cliff. It's just where the, uh, I don't know, it's over by the waterfall. Do a little jump off the wall and grab it. Next one is just uh, teleport to the top where you would fight the, the boss and just drop down. Next one is uh, teleport where you were, where we just were, go on, go on top of the Triceratops, throw Cappy on his uh, Triceratops horn. And he pops out a horn, or a horn, wow, a moon for some reason. And as a two-parter, grab the T-Rex, go uh, smashing around a little bit. There should be a glowing spot in the ground where you go and ground pound, revealing a moon. Go back onto your T-Rex, and then go all the way back to the Odyssey part of the map. And uh, there will be a telephone pole where you need to smash. That will also reveal a little shiny spot where a moon is hiding. Inside the busted fossil again, uh, teleport where the boss is, grab his chomp. The camera angle gets really bad, but there is a f weird looking rock fossil thing by that pole over there it will reveal a moon the next one is just grabbing a rabbit at the beginning it's very simple just go jump on it and hit it with your hat whatever you need to do for whatever reason it shits out a moon 
This one is a, a note one, very difficult. The degree of difficulty again on this one is very hard. You gotta jump up and hit bricks. It's very, very tough. Yeah, this is the second uh, Koopa Kid uh, f race. You just triple jump onto this rock and race these guys, and it's basically the same thing. And you know, it's it's basically the same thing. You get the idea. Super fast. Two parter here. Um, you jump down to the pretty much the middle of the map. There's a little chimney, and you're gonna cross these little beams. One of these annoying, like you have to have patient type maps that I don't really enjoy but uh, there's a two there's two moons in this one jump over to this platform if I can ever oh my god you're terrible what are you doing gotta have this on fast speed right now hit this block jump up here there should be a moon across these platforms the, the other moon will be you just basically have to finish out the, the level go past the weird fuzzy sonic creatures um, Watch me fail at hitting these things a hundred times, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can just hit the fast forward button if you want, probably 10 seconds, and see the next moon if you really care. Alright, the last two is uh, sort of towards the beginning. You drop down the chimney, um, and then it's a little, I kind of like this one, in the little wind tunnel. The first one will be coming up. You gotta go across this simple maze of wind tunnels. You see here, I have no idea where it is. I'm kind of looking for it. Hit this switch. Wait for the wind to pick up again. Throw Cappy. I fuck it all up here, but throw the Cappy over. Cappy knocks down the lever. Do it again over here with the whatever that thing with jig is. Brings over the moon. The second moon will be obviously just uh, finishing out the rest of the level. That is it for the video. Um, spoiler, I do end up getting this moon. But if you did like the video, uh, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. If you do, I, I honestly don't give a shit what you do. But, uh, it's, you know, this game, while we have a couple of seconds, is amazing. You should get it if you haven't already.